Hello everybody, it's GZL 2010 again. Coming at you with another toy review. This toy review was requested by Mini Godzilla something, bunch of numbers. Sorry, forgot your name, entire name, but he requested this and and it's the Showa Mana Creation Showa Gaia. Alright, let's get started with detail as always. The scale detail is pretty good. Well, really good on this figure. Um, you can see that. There's also some skin texture on the legs and arms. And the head. He did have a tail spike. <laughs> um, yeah. Detail's pretty good. Um, paint. This, is, this might be one of the most accurate paint jobs of a Gigan. Of well of the Showa Gigan in my opinion it's a dark greenish color and a, you know gold obviously and the silver for the chest saw and the claws and the those there and the you know everything and the red for the eye and yeah paints pretty good um, articulation one, two, they move 360, so that's two, three, four, uh, five, and sort of six. If you twist it too much, it'll pop off, so. Yeah. Now, scaling. Let's first of all scale him with Godzilla. Doesn't work, like I've said before, because um, Godzilla is too huge. However, he does scale with the 54 Godzilla well. They're just about the same height, which is good. Now let's try Angiris. I think Angurus is too big, because, yeah, the Japanese one works better. Angurus is too big. Now let's do his buddy from the movie, King Ghidorah. This scales pretty well. Maybe Gigans, or maybe King Ghidorah should be a little bit bigger, but this looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, wrong guy. <laughs> And now, um, movie accuracy. This guy isn't completely movie accurate. I mean, overall he is. Um, I think I may be the only one to notice this in a review, but his claws are different. See, this this is his left claw. This one's the this is the accurate one. It's curved more. Now look at this one. It's not as curved. Good, bad. Good, bad. You see a difference here? Am I the only one who's noticed this? Bleh. Uh, but yeah. Um, his fins are supposed to be a little more spiky, but that's okay. He's supposed to have a tail spike, I don't care. He looks, he still looks good. Um, he's a little, he's a little too fat, maybe. His eye's a little big. Um, I don't really care though. It, it all, it looks good overall. And, yeah, so, obviously not his box, but, just gonna show you how I think he fits in the box, I can't entirely remember. I remember seeing these in stores at KB, KB Toys, but I can't quite remember. Yeah, I just like that, something like, yeah, something like that. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the review. Um, in terms of rarity, he is a pretty hard to find figure nowadays. Um, he was released in way back in Wave 1, 2002. 
So he can go for a lot of money nowadays. The best place to look for is eBay. Obviously, but. Yeah. He's a pretty good figure. I would recommend him if you can find him. You know, if he's, you know, I don't know, 30 bucks or less, go for it. So, yeah, that's the review. And I hope to be doing more toy reviews and a super secret project soon. Alright, this is Gisela2010, signing off. Goodbye, everyone.